When you're a principal, you can feel isolated. Lonely. Scattered. Crazy. All alone. Overwhelmed. Buried in paper. <laughs> How's that for a word? <laughs> but it doesn't have to be that way. You could feel supported. Collaborative. Like a world full of possibilities. Confident. Befriended. Like, I got this. Reflective. Together. support principals in the learning in, in this district? So mentoring in KDISD is uh, where we pair up seasoned principals uh, with principals who are new to the principalship or perhaps principals who are new to KDISD. We provide time for our uh, principal mentee mentors to come together to have conversations, to uh, engage in dialogue around the principalship, what are critical elements of the principalship. We allow building level leaders to come together and to build upon each other's expertise. You know, I think you have to find out what they're interested in first. A lot of our, our principals have varied interests and they're all very professional, so it's easy to support them, but you also have to have, to have a broad range with you because they, uh, they're going to look at different things that they're interested in exploring. You created this at KDISD, right? Yes, actually, I, I actually uh, attended a NASP mentor training. And, um, and it really transformed how I, you know, my, my thinking around uh, how we support new principals. Uh, and so after attending that session, I actually went back again and brought a team with me uh, so that they might be able to see what, that, uh, what, what this uh, leadership immersion experience is all about. Here's all the principal me mentors we're meeting um, in order to discuss our progress with our protégés. Be fun. And then from there, uh, we began to develop a three-year action plan for our district. Uh, and year one was really just to get more principals, experienced principals certified through NAESP. Uh, and then this, the second year really has been uh, creating structures like the one that exists here today where there's a mentor protégé ongoing um, activities are throughout the year uh, whereby principals and mentors have structured time together. Uh, year three, uh, next year we'll really be uh, continuing to build on, on, uh, on those structures. Uh, but the key is we're such a fast growth district that we've got to be certain that our principals are getting the support they need because we have new principals that are coming on board each and every year. But our goal is to have after three years a really sustainable model uh, where at least 25 to 30 of our principals are certified and ready to support new principals as they come on board. How do you feel about the mentor program? The mentor program is actually beneficial to me as well as my mentee. And I think it's a program where both parties can really grow together, reflect together, and so it's a win-win. You know, everybody that, whether they're in a new position that they've never done before, or whether it's coming um, to a new district, they need some kind of guidance and some, um, you know, someone that they can confide in and, and somebody that's in the same position or, or in a similar position that can help help answer some questions and, and be a confidant for them. Wow, it's been fantastic. I mean, you know, I know that the whole idea is to set it up that um, we're supposed to be mentoring our protege, but it actually is so reciprocal because I have learned so much from her as well. How has mentoring changed your outlook? Knowing that everybody needs somebody to talk to. You know, the, the principalship, um, upper management gets to be lonely. Um, you don't have a whole lot of people that understand the role, um, but this has helped me to understand that, hey, there are other people that I could talk to as well. And, and now with, with Ronnie and, and uh, my mentorship, um, coaching and, and, you know, becoming friends, it, it's really kind of, helped instill that, that uh, we all have somebody that we can go and talk to. I think it's been great to bounce ideas off of people and have a specific person that I can do that with and it's a safe place. Through the process as we've been taught and how we've been practicing, I feel like some of the emotion that blocks the problem solving has diminished because when you're using reflective questioning in the manner that we have, 
um, the person has more insight into maybe the why and how they did things um, and it's really reflective of themselves and not of the situation. It's helped me to be more confident in preparing for uh, the principalship and, and uh, just having a greater knowledge of, of the, the intricacies of being a principal. I guess it allows you to uh, reflect a little bit more on your basis of your position because you're only seeing it from your perspective and when you get to talk about it, you get to be more reflective about your own practice and the practice of others. What's been your favorite part of the mentoring program? I think really getting to visit with other mentors and when we went through the, the training, just having that time to, to think um, with other leaders who are on the same journey. And so the camaraderie that we've built in working together uh, to develop our craft as mentors has been fantastic. Oh my gosh, that's easy, getting to know Beth. Collaborating with others. I always love to learn new ideas. Lunch. Eating lunch with my mentor on a monthly basis has been great. <laughs>